Hey everyone, it's Justine, and I'm super excited that I get to be working with a brand new stamp company called Heffy Doodle. I was asked to be a part of their blog hop, and I couldn't resist their adorable stamps. Now, I received two stamps to play with for this, and I'm going to show you them right now. One of them is Elephant Surprise, and the other one is Interactively Yours. You'll see me using Interactively Yours in many videos in the future because it's perfect for shaker, spinner, light up cards, etc. And it gives sort of a little bit of an instruction for the person receiving the card as to what to do with it. For this card, I'm going to be using the Elephantly Yours. I can never resist a good elephant stamp. They're just so cute. And I'm going to be making my very own background using different elements from the elephants and the little stamps like the balloon and cake. And I'm going to make myself a background stamping in Versamark ink and I'm going to emboss it. A little bit about the company. It launched in July and they are actually a Kickstarter campaign. So I'm going to link to that below and you can read more about it. But essentially what it is right now is that the company itself is taking pledges. So you sponsor them in a way or you donate money for them to start up their company. And in return, you're going to get stamps and dies. So at the moment, during the month of July, they are actually just collecting orders and nothing is actually being shipped or produced. So for example, they needed about... 400 pounds, so about 450 US dollars to start their company and start making it a success. And so far they've had over 8,000 pounds in sales. So that's super awesome. And then during the month of August, so you have until the end of July to purchase the stamps at a discounted price. And in return, you're actually sponsoring the company's startup. So it's really cool. The only thing is though, and kind of in return of getting that discount is that you have to wait until September for the stamps to start shipping. So if you want to read more about that or learn more about it, you could definitely check out the website. I'll have it linked below. But today there's a whole bunch of crafters celebrating a blog hop. And so I have a blog hop going on and there's going to be prizes. It's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to have a lot of the different ideas on what to do with those stamps that are for sale right now. Okay, so I am actually grabbing some white fine detail embossing powder and I am going over my little elephants and different stamped items on my background and I'm going to be heating this up and doing a resist emboss technique. I love this technique, it's super simple, but it's definitely a technique I turn to quite often because it makes such pretty cards and they're so much fun. This also allowed me to use multiple elephants and different stamps from the card all at once on one single card. So I always feel like I'm getting good use out of the stamp. As for the blending, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on how I did it, but I did it with Distress Oxide inks, worn lipstick, and fossilized amber. If you're interested in learning about these or how I do the blending, I have lots of videos on my channel if you just look for the Distress Oxide ink videos. So I'm just going back and forth between the pink and yellow, and I'm keeping them rather separate at first. And then I'm going back in with the pink and trying to blend it out with the yellow, and you kind of get an orange tinge to it as well, so you get three colors just using two ink pads. And as you can see, the white embossing powder just resists the ink. I grabbed my spray bottle, added some water to it, and I heat embossed it again so that it just laid flat and it dried. I was too impatient to let it air dry and I didn't want my cardstock to warp too much. So after that was finished, I needed to do my sentiment. So what I decided to do was grab a piece of black cardstock as well as a sentiment from the elephant stamp and I use my embossing buddy here so that no embossing powder stuck to it and I like to put my sentiments onto my cardstock or onto my sheet and then pick them up with my block I find I get them straighter and it's a little bit easier and I heated that up with some white embossing powder which is no different than what I had done on the background then I simply needed to cut this out and add it to my card so I used my paper trimmer to cut it down, but I wanted to add a little bit more interest, so what I decided to do was just um, do a fish banner. So what I did was put a white dot in the center, and I cut using my scissors from the corner to the white dot, and then I was able to create a nice little banner here on the end, and I stuck that onto my card, but I didn't want to stick it on just yet until I did the card base. So uh, this is an A2 size card, which means my cardstock is 11 by 4 and a quarter, folded in half at the 5 and a half inch mark. I grabbed my Tombow Mono Liquid Adhesive and I added a lot of glue because the cardstock did warp a little bit with the water, so I wanted that to stick down flat. And I added the sentiment so that it stuck off onto the white cardstock. 
To for some embellishments, I grabbed some of my Nouveau drops and some of the colors that I thought would match nicely with the yellow and the pink background. So I ended up using the jewel drops, which have a transparent look to them, and I used the pink and the orange ones to just add a little bit of an extra touch to the card. Alright, so that's pretty much the end of my card video tutorial today. If you're interested at all in checking out this new stamp company or the blog hop, I'll have everything listed below in the video description as well as the supply list. Thanks so much for watching everyone and have an awesome weekend.